Now let's uh, go and create a form request so we can add all our validation inside that because if we add all the validation in here, imagine if we have a big table and we add some logic and validations, all of them inside our controller, then it will become more complex to manage. So it's better to move the validation to another class and call it in here. So for that, we have to create a form request by opening our terminal. So let's open our terminal and in the terminal you have to type php artisan make colon request then give it a name so I will name it student add request enter it has been created now if we go inside our app http in here we have a request folder and inside this our student add request F then in here first thing the, that you have to do is change this false to true then after that you just have to move this validations from here so let's cut everything from here so let's cut it from here and paste it inside our rules so we will paste it here then for the messages you can also create a new method so for that you have to type public function messages then inside here you can return an array return array and inside this you have to add your own custom messages so let's add it here now add a semicolon so our uh, form request validation is ready now we just have to call it inside our create method for that and in the state of this first request you will just type the name of your form request which is a student add request enter it's added here remember that the VS code automatically add this path so here if your id does not you should add it now let's go save everything let's go to our browser refresh oh, we didn't need it to refresh let's add our age and for the email also some string keep the empty let's change the score also to 2000 submit submit now we got our validation with our custom messages if you want to know more about validation then you can uh, visit the laravel documentation itself so let's go you have to go to developers documentation then in the basic and validation now in here if you go scroll down and click on available validation rules you can see there are many validations rules that you can apply so if you need more validations you can come here and find the validation you want